Hello, it's a fabulous farming Friday today and uh, today I'm gonna give you a one month update of our planted hydroponic tomatoes, bell peppers, onions, and hot chili. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel yet, please scroll down and press that subscribe button. Okay, so uh, we, we made a video a month ago where we planted these hydroponic uh, you know fruit fruiting vegetables so let's see how they're doing uh, you see the one on the left those are tomatoes what I notice is, is that they need a lot of sunshine so the ones that has been receiving a lot of sunshine has been growing really well compared to the ones here and in, in the the middle portion you see that right they, they, it's like they're dwarfed um, let me zoom in the, the tomato on the middle portion you see you see that one okay it's tiny um, it's not surviving properly that one over there it, it's also dwarfed but these ones right they're 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 in good shape so I'm hoping uh, we would see some tomato fruits already in a month or two uh, I but from based from what I watched what I read uh, it takes three months for tomatoes to to flower and and then you know have two to three months for it to flower and have some fruits so the ones at the back didn't do well um, let's check out the roots how are the roots so let's first pull out the roots of this one there see the roots are well established and let's go closer there you go but how about our giant ones okay it's a, it's very very established okay I need to put it back because it's falling all right um, you know these are vines and it's just using the support of of our window right to stand up so uh, we, we, there we, you can tie nylon I have seen that um, you know it's, a, it's another strategy but so far it's okay if it becomes too heavy we'll we'll, we'll do that uh, technique so for our bell peppers you see here these ones where it's receiving less sun, it's um, you know doing less okay. It's dwarfed compared to to this over here, the one on the right. It's receiving a lot of sun, and this guy over here. So let's see how their roots are doing. What's in a hydroponic system? So see, see the roots. And I haven't changed the water yet, but I, I think in a month or two, I, I would need to change. Um, I would need to add some nutrient solution already. And um, let's see. Yeah. I'll give you an update another month. So this guy over here is big. So I'm hoping, you know, they'll give us some bell peppers. So what about our tomatoes? Oh, tomatoes are okay. What about our onions? So, all right, tomatoes. Okay, so you know, I tried to to plant tomatoes on these make do hydroponic systems, but it didn't. They didn't do well. I think it's because the sun rises on this angle, and this pillar blocks sunlight. But for our onions. Uh, you see there some are doing okay. They had to fill Put water back you know, because the, the water level is going down and the roots are not reaching it and as you can see here There are roots already that are reaching the water. So I Don't need to refill the water anymore. It's supposed to the crack key method um, the, the, the gap between the water or the nut soil and the, the root itself should provide aeration that the plants would need so this guy over here let's see 
you see the roots on, under the water so I think this is established also and hopefully right with, with the sun sunlight that we have it should be doing okay um, now I know why the best time to plant onion is on summers because you know there's a lot of sun sunlight so it's um, the burr months already um, it's already October closing to October end of September and the Sun doesn't shine that much okay and what else do we have we have our hot chili so this one has grown you know quite the slowest but I am happy now that you know in the past week it grew fast um, and let's check its root system oh you do see the root system there let's see it there you see it awesome right so i think this will be surviving hopefully it gives us hot chili and let's see how it looks like underneath none yet so the the roots are supposed to oh there's a root um do we see it there tiny um on the lower right it's not focusing well but i do see a little there there you go uh, a little of the root starting to to reach the water so that may be the reason why it started to grow already but it's still tiny it's been a month let's zoom in uh, it focuses there you go it's been a month already so um yeah subscribe to our channel and let's hope we'll be able to grow fruits th through this system. Thank you for watching. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. It encourages me to create more content for you. Comment on the video if you have more tips, if you have some suggestions. But thank you for watching and have a fabulous Farming Friday. Bye for now.